just the impact it's had on my life with work, with the way people look at you, the stigma behind it. Um, all the time I missed out with my son growing up. Um, the shame I brought on my parents and my whole family. Um, yeah, I suppose that's they're the biggest regrets. I've uh, got to balance my ledger at the moment. And at the moment, it's well off kilter, and I want to be able to leave the leave this earth, leaving a positive footprint instead of a negative one. So to do that, I've got to start now. So I founded a social enterprise called Arco Fire, and it was founded with 100 years of lived experience from people that had been in custody before, that had values and skills to be able to form an organisation in order to help people once they were released from custody. Well, maybe I could use my life experience to help people, whether a paid, paid work or volunteer, so started looking into ways and avenues I could do that. I started uh, doing this traineeship and volunteering for Arco Fire. Um, I'm training up to be the operations manager. Looking at these different areas of someone's life, such as employment, homelessness, high-risk situations such as their peer group, um, alcohol and other drugs, getting those needs met and then looking at what that person desires and wants, you know, moving forward in their life. And we do that through mentoring. I'm mentoring a young bloke, Ethan. Um, We've got an associateship with Arco Fire, working on a few programs with them to just give back and try to help people not go down the same path. It's not what they advertise. It's, there's, no, there's no brotherhood in it anymore. It's, it's about money and, and the treachery is rife uh, in the club. If you want to get ahead in life, if you want to be a productive member of society, you're not going to get anywhere. The glamour and the glitz is all going to disappear when you get a big sentence. So, I mean, unless you want to live that life, I'll suggest don't join gangs. And it's, it's, it's not a case of scaring them straight. It's about enabling that person to see that they do have value rather than them being stigmatised. I want to help Arco Fire grow, um, get the word out and um, help the community through them. I think Kirby's got a great vision. The fact that Arco Fire has 150 years of lived experience, we've got a strategic goal to turn that into a thousand years of lived experience with people that have been there, done that, um, and can give back. I'd really like to like, go into high schools and talk to like, high school students from grade eight to 12 and try and stop people from going down that path. And with my son, well, I risked my life getting out of the club so that he wouldn't go down that path. And I think he's grateful and hopefully proud. Everything I do for you is for him. Basically, it makes me feel proud of myself that I'm actually doing something good with my life instead of helping people instead of hurting people. So it's given me a purpose. Ex-offenders helping ex-offenders. There's already a culture there. Uh, there's a real sort of laddie culture, um, but it's about enabling people to see what their what their worth is and giving them direction in life.